Hey guys, welcome back to Elboy Carson. You thought this was cool. Wait till you see this. Soldier, keep on marching on. Head down till the work is done. So not too long ago, I reviewed the 501st Deluxe version of this clone trooper. I've had it for a couple of days and I sat it at the dinner table. And I have to say, I can't keep my eyes off of this baby. It looks so appealing, so realistic that it feels like the real deal is just standing right in front of me the whole time. Before I served my mission two years ago, I found this advertisement of this one-to-one -one scale. That means it's the real deal. The one-to-one -one scale of a Chucky doll. You see, I'm not the biggest fan of horror movies, but can you imagine owning a replica of this killer doll in your room? And so I did not get it because, you know, I'm not, I'm, not that, I'm not that extreme. But at the same time, I saw another ad that was a Hot Toys Captain Rex figure that got announced at the same time as Ahsoka Tano, Clone Wars version. So the Chucky doll was $500 and the Captain Rex figure was $255. I was wrestling. Don't know which one that I need. Just kidding, I don't need any of them, but if I could choose one, which one would I get? I made the decision to get this guy's captain, Captain Rex. Now, this figure has a Timur Morrison head sculpt. So if that doesn't want you to get this figure, I don't know what will. This is actually the first hot toy figure that caught my eye and made me want to buy this. So without further ado, let's check this bad boy out. If someone comes to our home, they better be carrying a big blaster. Now we've all had our fantasies of what Captain Rex would look like in real life. You know, Psycho Collectibles did that back in 2016, which looked freaking amazing. But when Hot Toys announced theirs, you kind of can't compare because um, this is probably exactly what Captain Rex would look like in real life. Psycho Collectibles have made a lot of half realistic half animation head sculpts for Commander Gree, Commander Bly, Captain Rex, Commander Cody, but imagine Tamora Morrison bleached his hair blonde and buzz cutted it. And look how cool it is, you know, having the uh, 330 second standing behind him and Captain America, Captain America, Captain Rex has jetpack. I, I understood that reference. Dual wielding pistols. Who's excited for this? Let's open this bad boy up. All right, nice and easy, just like last time. A Nike shoe box. Woo! Yo! Did I forget to mention that Captain Rex also comes with his macro binoculars and a flashlight, a torch? Dude, this is a really cool design and uh, definitely gonna cut this out and stick it to my wall. The perks of owning hot toys. All right, you ready? Bro, this, okay, I can sort of see the head there. They have some protection because you know, the paint could, could chip. I see everything that I, that I like. Let's, let's do this. All right, let's see what Captain Rex is all about with his accessories. So first of all, we got the dynamic flight stand with a metal nameplate, Captain Rex, with this uh, pole that you can pose him in with your jetpack poses. And realize that the platform here is a little lighter than the 501st, so makes it a little bit unique, which is awesome. We got a jetpack, and this time, it's not your average 501st jetpack, but this is custom to Captain Rex. As you guys can see, there's a lot of scratch marks here, way more weather than the regular clone. And uh, you even got some dirt marks here, which is really cool. And uh, the rocket portion also clicks off like this. And look at that. This is not real dirt, guys. This is all just added on by the artist. So big props to them for making this look like that uh, this has been through a mud bath. With that, you also get two uh, rocket booster effects, really cool. It looks like, oh no, they're the same height. Can't have Captain Rex without his dual wielding pistols, am I right? Very crisp details. And this does not look as cartoonish as the one presented in the Clone Wars, but with a little bit more of a modern realistic look. So really cool. And uh, you also get this um, DC-15 carbine um, as well. Pretty similar, if not the exact same thing as the one with the 501st. This is exactly the same as the one from the 501st, even the little scorch mark on the on his right side. And the, um, see, so, you know, 
Captain Rex, sometimes he runs out of ammo, so he carries an ammo pouch around. This is not made out of plastic nor genuine leather. This is a uh, fake leather, pleather. So hopefully over time this doesn't flake. That would really suck because um, you only have one of these, no extras. These are the two tools that Captain Rex needs to be able to see in the dark and also to see um, the incoming enemies from Umbara. Stay alert. The enemy has our weapons and our armor. Um, this is kind of the visor. It's pitch black, so there's no um, extra green detail in there, I guess. But can't wait to see what this looks like. And you might be wondering what this is, okay? This is kind of a tool um, to be able to, you know, poke out the little earpieces so that you can put the macro binoculars inside. So it's really cool. And you get an array of hands. It's very similar um, as the 501st. You know, you get the same uh, thumbs up and the pointing and the signaling gestures. I did these in hot water because they were really, really hard um, to slide the gun in. But when your fingers are nice and soft and pliable, then you're able to slide the pistols in a lot easier. So now let's get the main show on the road, Captain Rex the figure himself. Oh my gosh, did I almost forget the most important accessory? Dude, how can we forget this? So this is Captain Rex with his unhelmeted look. There is no doubt that this is Timur Morrison. And this is the first hot toy that I've owned that has a head sculpt. So just take some time to admire this and to appreciate the artists that individually sculpted this. You even have a five o'clock shadow. You get the dents, you get the texture. This is not a smooth piece. Everything is textured. The hair looks, um, spongy i don't know looks kind of weird yeah in real life this is a little tanner than it looks but dude i'm so excited to put this on top of my captain rex all squadrons are in position general fisto if you thought the 501st figure had enough details wait till you look at this guy this is captain rex in person with his guns in his holster i don't know about you guys but this makes a star wars fan really really happy and the way that the light bounces through that glossy visor and with the weathering it just looks so realistic bro i am i am literally screaming right now and uh let's let's take a look so first of all for the helmet as we can see this is not your average phase two helmet this has a blend of the phase two helmet shape as you can see and the phase one visor so captain rex really wanted to make his phase two armor really unique from the rest of his brothers so this with some wielding involved is the final product. Now I can see that there's a little bit of blue here and uh, that might be the inconsistency of the paint, but from a far distance, you could barely see it. Captain Rex has all the tally marks to measure the amount of droids he killed or the battle he won. This uh, peg inside of his helmet. Don't know what it does, but it looks really cool. You can see that here is the pauldron. It looks like really thick leather, but it's just plastic. You cannot detach this pauldron, so it's permanently stuck to the figure, which I'm really okay with because that means I don't have to fuss around with it. It's just always gonna be locked in place. Guys, I am seriously so happy to be able to have this in my hand. I've been waiting for this for two years and uh, it's finally in front of my face. And you guys get to share this experience with me. And on the arm, we have a different paint job. And as you guys can see, there is a stripe down here, but there are two mini stripes on the side and you can see all these scratch marks, things that you'll never see in a regular action figure. The armor is also welded together. There is texture here, uh, very shiny, metallic. The armor itself is not your average pale white as the 501st. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of green tint. This doesn't look too bad at all. I think it really makes Rex um, stand out because it makes him feel like that, you know, he might have not washed his armor. He wants it to look very damaged and to make him look seasoned. Um, the back looks very similar, but now this is the distinguished place of the captain. Um, there is uh, a battle skirt here, and this is made out of really thin, I would say spandex. So it's thin, it's easy to get out of the way. The holster is here too. Now you guys can see this is a little loose and uh, having this whole gun rest on this, uh, this strap, I don't know how long it'll last. And you guys can see that there's a big gash mark on the thigh armor and the rest of the armor is also pretty dirty as well. And we got the shoes. Um, I really like the clone shoes. Okay, you guys ready for what he looks like unhelmeted? 
that's what he looks like. Look at his beautiful face. All right, let's uh, gently pop this in because uh, every time. Uh, okay, this is. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I think I heard a pop. This doesn't look too bad at all. Um, this is definitely Captain Rex. Um, no matter from what angle you see, that's him. And he is looking far into the distance for his facial expression. This is a very stern and serious look. It looks like he is about to face General Krell or something. I said on your knees. But we all know the iconic pose. Well, this pose actually took longer than I thought to, uh, to pull it off because uh, this just wouldn't stay there and you have to get the helmet right underneath the hand to make this look as good as possible. Dude, if this was magnified six times more, it'll be the actual Captain Rex. But I don't think any detail was spared for this figure. You can see his uh, grunt standing next to him. And uh, this is going to be a really cool pose to pull off for quite a while because, you know, it's iconic. And Ahsoka saw this and she was really happy. But I know that Captain Rex, he always wants to get into action. He is right behind Anakin, who is reckless and jumping all over the place. So Captain Rex is also very mobile. So here's another look at Captain Rex's helmet. Looks really, really good. I like the geometry of it. This antenna thing, I forgot the name. It bends down. It looks like Captain Rex is aiming for something. <laughs> there is more detail though. Um, if you can see, uh, right here, there is an unpainted display panel, but it's still there nonetheless, and it looks really cool. Now, I remember showing you guys about this little tool here. So the thing is, you see that there's a little hole here, and there is a little peg. We just slide the peg in and kind of push, so this earpiece comes out. Whoa! Hi. And then for the left side, we'll do the same thing. After we pull the antenna out, you get an earless Captain Rex. We now can slide the visor up here, um, stick it in place. We could plop the flashlight piece and stick it. Here it is, insert the antenna piece. And right now you have a flashlight and macro binocular version of Captain Rex. And I really like the look that when they put it like on top of the visor, um, it gives it more attitude and kind of looks like someone that puts their, their sunglasses on their forehead. So it's really cool. But this is cool too. And the good news is, you see this? It's compatible. You can absolutely put your macro binoculars onto this clone trooper to make it look like a patrol trooper, which is awesome. An ambush. And uh, this is what I mean, guys. Just check this out. I would love to display my 501st like this. It looks so darn cool. And then he can go into battle mode. Zoop. There you go. Um, he's in Umbara right now, getting ready to shoot his 212th brother, which is really sad. Everyone, stop firing! We're shooting at our own men! They're not Umbarans. They're clones! Now we have time for articulation. This is gonna be very similar with the 501st Troopers. Please bear with me. All right, so for the head, we have a double joint on the neck. So you can bend really down low and semi-high. You can rock it right and left, but with the pauldron, it kind of hinders articulation. You got the antenna and also this ammo pack can shift right or left. It can't go any lower or higher because it'll just bounce back, bounce back into place. So it's really cool though. If you want him to be like swerving in the wind, here you go. And for the arm, the, the right arm, you can go all the way up 90 degrees and double jointed elbow to here so you can grab his guns. And for the left arm, it's gonna be a little bit hindered, but you can still move the arm 80 degrees up, I think. So wrist peg, you can move it all over the place. For the holsters, it's free range of motion. For the legs, you can crunch again, all the way forward, 90 degrees. Um, he can do the splits this, with the same as his brother. The knees are double jointed, so it's over 90 degrees. And for the feet, it's also on a ball peg, so easy movement. And for those wanderers out there, this is what Captain Rex looks like when he puts on the 322nd helmet. 
does not look bad at all. I think this, this matches better than I thought. And if you wanna go even wackier, this is Captain Rex with the phase one helmet in his phase two body. Um, dude, this looks like one of those ARC troopers totally. Um, if we put the micro binoculars up there, I would definitely dig that look because the phase one helmet just resonates to me. I like it a lot, but as we know, this is not Captain Rex, so we're gonna have to go with the normal helmet. Oh, and uh, here's the jetpack looking very dirty and grimy on Captain Rex, phase one version. <sighs> All right, guys, I think that I fell in love with Hot Toys. This is just a dream come true for a boy or a man or a fan. I am so glad that this company exists. Now, there are so many other Star Wars Hot Toys. For example, we have Anakin, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, Shock Trooper, Death Trooper, Moff Gideon, Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Jango Fett, and so much more. So guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am. And I really hope that you found that this figure is the coolest thing in the world as a Star Wars fan, because it really is to me. For my third figure, guys, you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for that because we're shifting genres. It's gonna be Spider-Man. And this suit is really, really meaningful to me and I'll show you guys why later. But if you like this figure and if you like the video, please subscribe, share it with a friend and um, are you guys gonna get a hot toy yourself? Remember, they're not cheap, but this is so much better than a $500 Chucky doll. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> And I can't wait to have more fun posing this Captain Rex and show it to you guys. So I hope you like the video and may the force be with you always.